Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. And for today's video, we're going to create now the front end using React with RTK query. So let's start. Start with, let us open our terminal. Let's move this a little bit. And now, since we're using Redux, I'm going to paste this code line. This period here indicates that we're going to install the React on the same directory. So let's hit enter. All right, so there you go. To test it, let's type npm start. There you go. All right, so that's our Redux toolkit. So from here, we can work now with RTK query. So let's work on that. But first, let's clean up everything from this section. So let's start with features and this counter. So I'm going to delete everything from our counter. Right, so that's the first one, and then from app.dsx, let's clear everything from here. So let's say this entire section, including this counter import. So let's check if there's other features here. Oh, in the store. Okay. So let's clean also our store. This one here. So let's delete that. And this line here. Save that. All right. So this time it's already clean. So from here, let's begin decoding. Start with, let's head over to our features. And from here, let's create a new folder. And we're going to name these as movies. Inside movies, let's create a new file. I'm going to name this as index.tx or ts. Okay. So from here, let's begin writing our code. To start with, I'm going to paste this code line. Notice here, we have two sections, which is the create API and the page base query. Now, this is more uh, similar to what we did with Redux Toolkit. Now, in RTK query, they make it more simplified. So, from here, we can build now our query section. But first, we're going to add or import our interface. So by doing so, I'm going to create a new file. From here, I'm going to name this as imovies.ts. Okay. So from here, we're going to use this as reference so that our, uh, since we're using uh, TypeScript, we're going to use this uh, reference interface throughout our system by typing export interface iMovie then going to set the fields next one is the title which is a string and the description
right? So that's all we need for our interface. So next, let's import that to our code. We type in import iMovie. So from here, let's create now our API. By typing export cons movie API. And then we're going to call now our properties create API. Okay, so from here, let's declare the reducer path. And we're going to name this as movie API. Then let's set the base query. We want to set or call the fetch base query. And then from here, let's call now the base URL. Okay, so if you recall our back end, we're using this HTTP call on port slash localhost port 5000. Okay, so that's that's the first one. So now, from here, let's build now the patch method. So let's continue on that. For our method, we'll be using this Tag types. Our tag types is the reference to all the process. So for our demo, I'll be using movies as our tag types. And then let's set the reference patch on focus to true. Then from here, we want to set the endpoints. And then let's uh, declare this build section here. From here, let's create a function and we're going to name this as get movies. So let's call now our build that query. And then so within this one, this section here, let's call now the interface, which is the iMovie. And we're going to return that as an object. And then we're going to assign as void, since this is a function. All right. So from here, let's call now the query. Now for our query, we're going to call the URL, which is this URL, which is the all movies. Okay. And then from here, let's set also the provide tags. Now for the provide tags, since we already declared that in here, so we're going to use this one. All right, so that's all we need for our uh, endpoints get movies. And then from here, let's going to export this uh, API by typing export fonts. So take note, this is the format by typing use. Now, uh, if you notice here, so we're going to copy this one, this function here, and then Going to apply in this section. So since uh, we're going to apply in here, so make sure the first uh, word here should be capitalized. And then we're going to add the word query. And then let's type equals to movie API. So that's all we need for our section. So that's the first one. So from here, Let's apply this now to our store. So let's work on that. Okay, so from here, 
tap over to your app and then store. Okay. And then in this section, let's import our uh, API. So by typing import movie API. Okay, so that's the first one. So now we're going to copy this one and inside our reducer, we're going to apply that. And then from here, let's call the reducer path. And then we're going to call again the movie API with the reducer. Right, so that's the first one. Now next, let's apply this middleware. So I'm going to paste this middleware in here. There you go. So that's that's all we need for our store. So only these two things, this one and this one. So these are the main important things for our store. So this will trigger our movie API from this section here. So from here, we can work now with our forms. So let's move to that. All right, for this next step, I'm going to include now the API. So we need to run this backend so that later we can test that uh, using our end. Okay, so make sure you run your code. Okay, first and foremost, make sure you're on the environment. And then from here, by typing py dot up the py. Okay, right, so that's all we need. Now, we can proceed now on our front end. All right, so let's open our app. Then from here, let's create a folder. And what the name is a page or pages. Okay, so same goes. I'm going to create a new folder inside these pages. So we're going to still use the home. Then inside home, let's create a new file, which is the index. That ESX. Okay, so let's build now our form by calling the FC. So this is from React. Okay, then let's call the or assign a variable home. Then let's apply the FC. Right. Okay. So this is how we created our home. And from here, let's export that. And then within the home, let's create a return statement. All right. So that's all about our home. So now let's do the sequence by creating our table. Okay, so from our table, we have our caption. Okay, so basically, what we're trying to do is the same as what we did from the previous demo. So I just copy those things. Okay, simply because I want to use a different uh, format using the same uh, structure so that we can all follow alone. Okay, so that's very important. 
Uh, maybe the next step for this one, we're going to make our separate uh, demo about on how to do a full stack with a login and other stuff. So since this is a demonstration on how to use the Docker with this type of setup performance, so safe to say, we can use this one as to, to explore more on how to use uh, Docker in everyday transaction. Okay, so let's save that. So now, what we're going to do now is to create the routes. So basically, that's all we need now for our home. Okay. So later, we're going to construct the body. So let's continue this one. Next, uh, next step is we're going to create now the routes. And same goes. I'm going to name this as menu. Routes.psx. Now, as part of the requirement, we're going to install React Router DOM. Now, if you're in this section, open a terminal within this app. And then let's type npm install React Router DOM. All right, now that we have our React Router DOM, we're going to use that now in our routes. Now to apply that one, let's step over to our index. And from here, let's import our, okay, so let's import our browser router. Okay, so that's from our React Router DOM. Then let's copy this one. Then we're going to wrap that within our app. There you go. So now let's modify now our app. Okay, so we're going to remove some from this section. Okay, yeah. maybe this two. And from here, let's import now our routes. From, okay, it should be on the routes. So from here, Let's apply our routes. There you go. So, uh, okay, so we have an issue here. Okay, right. so since we did build yet our routes, so let's complete our routes by heading to this section. Okay, so but first we need to import the following versus FC. Next one is the fragment. Also, let's import also our routes. And route. This is from React Router DOM. Okay, so that's what we need from here. And then, so from here, let's import also the home from our home page. And then, let's create now our menu routes.
Okay, so let's call now our fragment. Within a fragment, we call our routes. From our routes, we call the route. So let's break this out. From here, we require to set the path, which is the, uh, the root or the main. And then we will apply the element. And let's apply the home. There you go. So now let's close this up. Right. So that's uh that's all we need for our routes. Ah, okay. So we need to export this one. So let's copy this menu routes. Then from here, let's export the pole. And all routes. All right, so that's all we need for these uh, routes. So let's try now. From here, let's type npm start. Right, so that's all we need for our table. So from here, let's uh, connect now to our table. So I'm going to apply now the, the RTK. So to access this code here. So let's proceed to that. Okay, so as part of the requirements, we to create now the body. Now for our body, in within the source, let's create a new folder. And we're going to name this as components. Put in the components. We're going to create a new file. And I'm going to name this as movie item that TSX. Okay, so what are the things uh, needed from here? Is first, let's create uh, a props. Uh, but first, I need to import the Pepsi. From the app. And then let's construct our movie items. Okay, so what we need here is I'll be adding a props. For that props, let's create that by assigning a props by props. And then let's add the variable, which is the movie. And we're going to send this to any, uh, any variable here. So this is the types that we're going to apply. And then from here, Let's apply that in our parameter. Okay, so let's check first. return oh so this is like this one 
Okay, so from here, let's return that value. Let's call the typical table PR. Then, so from our TR, let's add the key. So from here, we assign the movie that ID. Then from our field, let's begin by typing TD at least one, two, or four. So we're going to need at least four. All right. So the first one, let's add the movie title. And from here, let's add the movie description. All right, then let's export this function. There you go. All right, so that's all we need for our movie item. Okay, good. So now let's uh, import that to our index, or, or rather home or the index pages. So we're going to apply that in there. Okay, so from here, let's import the component. There you go. So and then, since we have this one, let's add that now to our body. All right, now that we have that, next is okay. So let me check first. Okay, so what we need here is we're going to pass a variable. Now, this variable, uh, we're going to get this from our uh, RTK. Now, this is the time we're going to import that. By typing import, let's call now the first uh, function that we assign there, which is the use get movie spread. All right, so that's uh, the first one. Now from here, I'm going to copy this one, and then let's extract the value from that, which is the data. And then let's call now the use get query. Okay, so this is how we uh, import our RTK query. So now that we have that, the next thing we need to do now is to copy this one. And within this component, we're going to call that. It should be wrapped within this component. Now, to for this to work, we need to assign a question mark so that it will check if there's a value or not. And then we'll do the mapping. Right? So from here, let's make it two. And then we want to name this as movie 20. Okay, so let's copy this one and close here. So from here, let's assign an arrow. Or rather, just the normal uh, closing parentheses. Okay, so let's check that. 
Okay, good. So we have this now. So I'm done. I'm, I mean, next. The next thing here is we're going to apply that to our component. So the first one is we're going to assign a key, which is the ID. And then let's assign now the movie, which is the movie. All right, so that's all we need from here. Okay, now to check this one and see if this works, head over to your browser. Okay, so notice here, we have an error. There you go. So there's an issue of cross origin request block. Now, if you see the value here, it says not found. Okay, so let's check first if this is working. So if you recall our backend, okay, so notice here, we have an error cure. So let's investigate first. Ah, okay, because I didn't run the shump. Okay, going to run that one. There you go. So now, let's reload this page. There you go. Okay, so now, let's test that in our RTK. Or, from end. There you go. Now, notice here, it's already found. But the problem is, there's a cross-origin error request. Now, this is not an issue with the front end. Basically, this is an issue with the back end. So, to fix that one, let's head over back to our back end. Okay. So, from here, head over back to our back end, which is this one. And then, if you are using DS code, make sure you are on the back end okay so let's cancel this one by pressing ctrl c so this is what we need for now to for that to work we're going to install this course for the plus course so this will allow us to communicate with the back end so this is typical to any uh, issues with the back end by installing this this will solve our problem so let's install that while doing so, make sure you are within the environment. Okay, so keep keep that in mind. You, need, you only need to install that within the environment. Okay, so right now, we successfully installed the class course. Now, for that to take effect, we need to head back to our app.py. Then from here, let's type from class underscore course import course and then next to this up here we're going to call the course and we're going to apply the app okay so that's that's all you need these two line here so now let's run this code By typing py app.py. Okay, so there you go. So that works now. Now to test with our backend. So see if this is still working. There you go. So now let's uh, test that with our front end. And there you go. So notice here. Okay, so this indicates that our uh, backend with the course is working. So now that we have working with this one, safe to say, we can close this uh, section. I want to align this now, this table. So we're going to copy the earliest example, which using the 
uh, CSS. So if you happens to check my old uh, video, uh, videos about uh, Docker, so feel free to head back to that section and copy that uh, line code or within here. So head over to your app, to your source, app.css, and let's clear everything from here. Want to paste this code line. So we have two sections here. So the first one is the table. Okay. So this is the section for our table. Only this few line. We can post this video and copy everything from here. And then the next section is the form. So this is the first one for the input and for the button. Okay, so let's see that. Okay, so now that we have that, okay, there you go. So this is all we need for our front end. Now that we managed to call back our uh, values from the back end to our front end, so this time we can work now with the other stuff, which is the add movie, edit, and delete. So that's the first part. All right, so let's minimize this one. Okay, so from here, let us create a new component. And from here, let's create a new folder. I'm going to name this as add movie. Okay, so inside this add movie, let's create a new file which is the index.tsx. And the next one is this i at movie.ts. Okay, so from here, let's define our interface. We type in export interface and I'm going to name the i at movie. All right, then from here, let's define columns by typing this one to number, this one to title, and this is string. And the next one is the description. Which is a string. All right, so next. Now, if you happen to see my uh, code within this one, so, but first, we need to install the following. So, for this uh, component, we're going to install this one. So, we'll be using, uh, using the React uh, Pure Model. So, let's open a terminal. So, make sure you're on this section by typing npm install React Pure Model. Okay, for those who are uh, first time to see me doing this one, you can check the previous uh, video for this uh, Docker series. You may see that I'm, I'm just using the same module. And most of these uh, cases here, I use this one for our pop-up. Now, another, another thing uh, we need from this one is we're going to use also the format. So let's clear this up. So Formic is one of the best usage when it comes to validation in React. All right, so let's clear this up. So now, now that we have this one, I'm going to paste the old code. Okay. So I'm going to paste that in here in the index.psx. Right. So basically, uh, I already uh, demonstrated this in our previous video. But for now, I'm still going to use this one. Okay. Now, let me explain this uh, for those who are first time to see this uh, code. So what, what we have here is 
we use the uh, the FC and use state. That's for the name of the function. And then we use the query model. So this is the pop-up uh, section. So we set everything here to pop-up. And then we call down also this uh, another properties or CSS from React model. Okay, now for the formic, we have three elements. Or I'm using the formic, form, and field. Now for our props, okay. So I'll be using this save of the function. Okay, and then we assign this uh, interface from our section here. Okay, and then we assign those things within the var initial values. Now, aside from this one, we set up also the model. So this is the section we set the pop-up, if it is yes or no. Now, so we have a few sections here. So first, we identify this one as the top root. And then, notice here. So this is where we set up the uh, button. So feel free to post this video and copy this code. And then, so this is where we set up our... Uh, pure model okay now to understand this one i'm going to minimize everything from here okay there you go so for a pure model this is the starting point and this is the closing component now you can copy this one this is the properties for this pure model we set we set up the header with add movie and we assign this variable from this section here, use state. And also with the size. Now, other to that, okay, within the, uh, inside this pure model, we have now called the formic. Now, to call the formic, okay, so I'm going to expand this one. So we have um, two section. So, Within the pure model, we have this formic, this one, until here. So for our object properties, we see uh, we set the formic to reinitialize to true. And we set the initial values. So these initial values we take from this declaration here. And then we assign a submit. So from here, we assign that to our function save movie which is this one and this is the props for that save movie all right and lastly we set up this set model to false so which means we are closing the pop-up and also the actions okay now next to formic we have not the forms now for the form we have Two section here or three, we have the first one, which is the label for our title. That's for our title. Okay, so similar to this one, we just copy this one, and that's where we formulate our description. Okay, you can uh, post this video and copy this uh, code section. And the last one, we set up to the button. So within the button here, okay. So I I wrap that to our deep with this style, and then our button we have two things here. The first one is the cancel button. This one, and next one is the submit. So that's it. That's everything from our ad movie. Okay, now. Before we proceed with our AdMobi, I want to create also the RTK query for AdMobi. So let's uh, head back to our features here. And then let's build our query for that particular operation. So let's work on that. All right, so from here, so next to the get movies. So let's build our now the add new movie. Now for that uh, function, I'm going to name that as add new movie. All right. So the difference here is 
we're going to call again our build. But this time, we're going to set the mutation. So from here, this is where the operation takes place. Okay. So similar goes. I'm going to call the query. And then from here, let's assign a payload. Right? And then within this payload, we're going to assign a, a properties URL. Now for URL, if you recall our uh, API, for the AdMobi, we'll be using this one. Here. Okay, so we're going to use that one. And then, so we're going to call the method. So this one is method we're going to set to post. And then we assign that to our body. This value, which is the payload. Okay. Now, since uh, we're going to return a value, now very important to add this. Um, this property is invalidates tags. So since we already have that, so we can simply copy that one and apply here. All right, so that's all we need for our ad movie. Now, the very important is these tags represent as the global uh, variable. So whatever changes that we're going to make from the hours to our value. So tags here are the, you can say the ID for the entire uh, or entire value. Okay, so now let's add that to our export. Now, same format. use and then let's copy this add new movie and then from here let's set to uh, big letter a and then okay so instead of query we're going to use this mutation okay so see the difference we use the use for this because we're using query so that's also apply here uh, since we're using this for mutation, so safe to say, we're going to add this end section as mutation. All right, so let's save that. From here, let us import now to our home page. So let's proceed to that. So from here, let's head over to our page index. And then below this section here, I'm going to import the add movie. Right? Now let's add this component down to our footer in here. Okay, so that's uh that's where we're going to uh, apply this thing. So now let's head back to our add movie. Notice here, we uh, set up the parameters, which is this function. So let's use that and apply that in our add movie. Now, same goes from my previous tutorial. I'm going to still use the this function, which is the handle save movie okay so let's create that all right so from here so same goes let's create function by typing cons at save movie and then let's uh, pass the parameter which is the form data 
Then from here, I'm going to set this to any. So any values, uh, we're going to pass on on this section. And then let's set to void. So since this is a function, okay. So now, added to this one, I'm going to add the try and catch. So if there's an error, it will trap the uh, the error. Going to set that to console log, console log. Okay. Now the difference here now is since we're doing uh, we're using uh, RTK query, so what we're going to do is to import the RTK query from from our features movie. Now to do that, let's step over to our here in this section. We need to import now the the uh, this section here. So first. Uh, okay, so we already have this one here. So we can add that next to this one. So what we're going to do is import the, the operation, which is the use add new movie mutation. All right. Now, by, by doing so, we're going to import that to our function in here. Okay, and then we're going to extract the operation by by calling this one, which is the add new movie equals to add new movie notation. Okay, so since this is a function, we need to emphasize like this one. Now that we have our extracted operation. So big note, this add new movie, if you check our features, this is how we set up in here. Okay? So now, let's use this operation. And then, let's pass now the data. There you go. All right, so that's all we need for our add movie. So now let's test our browser. To test our browser, make sure your front end is running by typing npm start. Same goes, make sure the backend also runs. And the last one, the database as well. There you go. Let us try now our add movie. There you go. Test title. Test description. All right. So this one is working. Okay, good. So at this point here, our add uh, query or the operation is working. So now let's proceed on the edit and also the delete. So let's work on that. So from here, let's head back to our features. And then I'm going to create a new mutation. So first, I'm going to copy this one. And then I'm going to replace this one and name this as Update movie. Yeah, I think update was uh, update movie is fine. And then let's uh, set up now the parameters or the URL. So take note. Okay, so better we need to copy from here. Okay, so this is our update. So I'm going to copy this one. All 
All right. Now, we're going to take off this slash on the first part. And then, instead of ID, I'll be using this payload. Now, for that to... Okay, but first, I need to replace this one by typing dollar this one. And then, I'm going to change this double quote to dynamic. So I'll be using this tilde. Okay, so which means we're passing a parameter uh, to this URL. So next, I'm going to replace the post to put. Okay, so that's our request. And then for our body, I'm going to expand this one. So this time, I'm going to define the fields to be passed so first one is the title and since payload has the value so i guess i'm uh, going to pass the title from our payload, uh, payload okay singles I'm going to set the description And then I'm going to pass the payload for that. There you go. So that's what we need from our update. So now let's save that. And also, big note, keep the invalidate tags as well. So this is very important when creating RTK query. Now that we have this one, Let's apply now or export that in our movie API. So from here, same pattern, I'm going to use the use. Okay. So look here, it's already uh, auto generated. We can copy this one. So just the same format, we use the use and the name of the function, or this is the update movie from here. And then, since this is a mutation, we just add that to our end section. Okay, so see here? So that's the difference between mutation and query. So let's save that. Before we proceed on the next step, I'm going to emphasize here, since uh, we already extracted the payload, so from the URL, I'm going to extract here the ID. Okay, since that's the format in the backend, so we're going to use the payload ID. All right. So now, now that we have everything in our RTK, so the next thing is we're going to uh, create down the form by using the old uh, thing that we used from our previous demo. I'll be using that the same component. So for that. I'm going to head over to the components. I want to create a new folder, which is the edit movie. Now, same goes. I'm going to copy everything from our add movie. Okay. And then for the i add movie, I'm going to rename that as i. Edit movie. Same here. I'm going to replace this as I edit movie. Now, from here, I'm going to copy this one and replace in this section. So take note, we have two uh, sections to apply. So safe to say, you can uh, replace everything with with i at b. This one, this one, and this section here. All right. Now, all the formats are here are the same. So the only thing we need to modify now is the patch up from the uh, index page. Now, doing so. Let's uh, modify first our props. 
So from our props, we have now the new value. So from here, let's replace this save movie to update movie. And then we're going to add one more, which is the edit movie. And from here, I'm going to pass on this I edit. All right. Okay, so, so far, that's all we need from our props. So, and then let's copy this update movie and replace these parameters. Another is we're going to add this new parameters. So, I'm going to add that in here. Okay, so there's also one more. Let's copy this update movie and replace the value in this section. All right. Okay, so now that we have that, the next thing is we're going to copy this edit movie. And then from here, let's replace this zero with edit ID. And also with the title, which is the edit title and edit description. All right. Also here in this section, I'm going to replace this as edit movie. Same also with the header. All right. So that's all we need for our edit movie or the edit form. Okay. So make sure you save everything. So now let's apply this now to our index page. Before we proceed with our index page, we're going to import first our edit movie in our movie item. So this is where the rows text uh, takes place. So to do that, let's import edit movie. Okay, so I think I, okay, it's not reading. So let me check one more, our, okay. So yeah, we forget to replace this as well. So this should be edit movie. Let's copy this one. Also, this one. All right. So now, from our movie item, wait. So better going to replace everything, and then I'll be calling the edit movie. There you go. Okay. So that's all we need from our edit movie. So now let's uh, add this edit movie to our uh, section here. So from here, by calling the edit movie. Okay, so what are the things uh, needed from this section? So same goes from our previous demo. I'm going to add that props. So first is going to update or call the update function. So same goes, going to label this as form data. To any last point. Okay, so this is a function. Now, from here, now that we have this uh, uh, update movie, I'm going to copy this one and add that to our parameters. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, so from here, let's apply now or assign now to our props. Now, let's do it one by one. So the first prop is this edit. Or rather, I'm going to copy this two. And place that in here. 
Okay. And then, so the first one is uh, going to bring down our movie. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one is we're going to bring down as well this update movie. So there you go. So that's all we need for our edit movie. Okay. So from here, let's modify now our index. So let's proceed to that. All right. So from here, let's step over to our index. And then, okay. So let's add one more. So this time is the update movie. Now, since we don't have the functions yet, let's prepare the function by calling the handle update movie. I'm going to copy this one. Okay, so similar goes. We can copy this one here. Right. So, yeah, so this is uh, what we need for our uh, update movie. So now that we have this one, so the next thing we need to do now is to import the RTK. So this RTK functions. So from this list here, let's import that. Okay, this is the use update mutation. And then going to assign that to fonts. Update movie. Okay. So that's all we need for our uh, update movie function. So now let's replace that or update that in this section. Right. So now that we already update our update movie, so let's do or check this now in our page. There you go. So from here, let me try to paste that as new title, new description. Okay, so that works. So here, let's say one. There you go. All right, so that works. Now that we managed to complete this section here, we can now work with delete. So let's work on that. But uh, I think I'm going to remove this movie here. So let me modify this uh, a little quick so that we have a decent uh, preview. should be this one all right so i just removed that there you go okay so that's all we need for our edit function so now let's work now with delete okay so let's minimize this one then head back to our features so from here i can copy this uh update movie here and then let's replace this to delete movie. Okay, so same goes. We just uh, replace the URL. So this should be the delete. Then we just keep this uh, payload ID. Or rather, we can uh, use the ID itself. Since uh, we're only needing the ID only. Okay. So for this demo, safe to say, we can remove this one. And replace this method to delete. Okay. Just keep the uh, invalidated uh, bugs. There you go. So now, 
Now that we have the word delete, we can import down in here by typing use. Okay, so this one. Use delete movie mutation. All right. So from here, let's uh, update now our index or index.page. Similar to update, let's begin updating our movie item. From here. And from here, let's uh, apply the new function, which is the delete movie. And then let's assign the parameters, which is the ID as number. So this is also a function. So now we can copy this one and add that next to this update movie section. Okay. So now all we need to do now is add a button that will execute this operation. Let's call the on click. Okay, so from here, let's bring down our delete movie function. And then, so we're going to pass this movie ID from here. All right? And then from here, let's label that as delete. All right, so that's all we need from our movie item. Now that we have this one, we can proceed now to our index dot PSX. Right. So from here, the only thing we need to modify now is okay. So the only thing that we need to add now is the is uh, delete function. Okay. Since this is a new parameter so let's call now the delete movie okay so since we don't have the functions yet let's call this function as handle delete v so let's copy that then from here let's declare that the same goes we can copy this one and Paste it here. Now, the only difference here is we're passing an ID. So I'm going to pass an ID with a number interface. All right. Okay, now we're going to need the delete function. So let's head back to our uh, features. Okay, so from here, Let's add that. This use delete mutation. Okay. Now from here, let's call now the function, which is the delete movie. And I'm going to uh, get that from use delete movie mutation. Okay, good. So let's copy this now. And we're going to replace that function section. So here. There you go. Okay, so to test that. Okay, so let's say I'm going to delete this one too. There you go. And also this new title, new description, this uh, third one. There you go. All right, so that's all we need for our root operation with RTK query and with class as backend. For our next demo, we're going to perform the Docker Compose uh, with our backend, which is the class and the frontend, which is React. So, that will be our last chapter. So hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys on the next 
Pages series. Cheers.